In 2015, I've made a range of posts and videos to show you about cycling in the Netherlands. Sometimes the cycleways were brand new. Sometimes it was just gravel in a nature area. There was this new cycleway along a newly dug canal. I've shown you cycling in suburbs and high-speed cycle routes in the countryside, connecting different towns or larger cities with muddle underpasses done by the book. I've shown you how retracting bollards can be used to reduce motor traffic volumes. This street was recently reconstructed. And this one urgently needs a reconstruction. A before and after makes a transformation instantly clear. On street cycle lanes changed into protected cycleways. Existing cycleways improved. Cycleways where there was no cycling infrastructure before. Residential streets that became cycle streets where cars are guessed. Or a service street removed and changed into a cycle street. Sometimes there was only a surface update. And this comparison also works to show the difference between cycling in summer and winter. The cycleways looked quite different before they were cleared of snow and ice with special machines. But then they are perfectly usable. Cycling hand in hand may be a strange Dutch habit. Or perhaps standing tall is even stranger. Of course, you needed to see some bridges. This one is already some years old. And this one was finished this year. The length of this bridge is impressive. It offers a magnificent view from up high. And many people are using it. New viaducts were constructed and opened as well. Making it safe to cross large and busy roads. Some of the designs are of a stunning beauty. Others are mainly functional. Or they are a reference to iconic design such as the Bailey Bridge. Yet others are huge. or truly exceptional. This is the Netherlands' first garden bridge, built to cross some railroad tracks. But such tracks can also be crossed in a tunnel. People celebrated the cargo bike, sometimes in a tiny group and sometimes at a large festival. You find cargo bikes on the streets as well, or better, in this great separated bicycle roundabout. This old one is a good example. Unlike this new one, that is a design disaster. Cyclists are not mini cars. As demonstrated here, they behave differently. What works well in the Netherlands are roundabouts, with priority for cycling in the built-up area. They can also be found in smaller towns. Almost all villages have excellent cycling infrastructure, just like the largest cities. Foreign cycling experts came to the Netherlands for the Winter Cycling Congress, and I went to St. Petersburg as a foreign cycling expert. I even made it to the news. Cycling in Russia needs to be promoted by active pressure groups. But that also happens in the Netherlands. We still need to campaign for things to be done well. 
vanaf dit punt gaat het spoor zakken naar... Bicycle parking is always a hot topic in this country. There are large outdoor facilities and even larger ones indoors. This one has a cycle route right through it. To find such bicycle parking facilities, Utrecht came up with an innovative solution. A bicycle parking guidance system with real-time information about available parking spaces. And there were more innovations. What about a light companion to lead you to the green light? The system was tested on the street. This was also a test for a new model for the shared bicycle system of the Dutch railways. Most of all, I showed you people cycling to everyday destinations. The morning rush hour. The afternoon rush hour. The evening rush hour in the dark. Or cycling during lunch time. Some people dressed up for an occasion. Carnival. Or King's Day. The Dutch usually dress for where they're going, not for how they are getting there. With the exception of dressing warm in winter, of course. I showed you cycling with children. And I showed you that more women than men cycle in the Netherlands. But first and foremost, I showed you people going about their daily business. On a bicycle, of course. That goes without saying. 